Okay, welcome to part two. I think this is going to be complete and utter rubbish to watch. Um, because I fixed it without finding the problem. Um, I went through, I checked a lot of things. The switching circuit is this business over here that actually does the channel switching. And there's a couple of uh, JFET, or uh, JFET? I think there, there's a couple of BJTs and whatever, but the transistor's over here. And, um... I talked to another tech who told me some of these are flaky, but of course mine started working. Um, I basically just desoldered a bunch of them, stuck them in the tester, checked them, got mad, put them back in, and then everything started working again. But on this header here, these two pins out here are for the channel switching. So the black and the red that are furthest away from the rear of the amp are for the switching. And you can see the LEDs for the two channels. They're both illuminated because there's no foot switch plugged in. Um, and if we put one of those pins to earth, we should see, or chassis ground, we should see the light go out. So um, let's just see if that's still working okay. for me. Let's try this again. So I've got the camera over here where we can see the LED, and the other LED is over here, which uh, is going to be obstructed by that pot. But these two pins, if I put those to earth, I should get the respective lights to go out. So. We will try on this one. We'll put that to ground. And the one light, this is a far one you can't see. This is the one you should be able to see in camera. Should go out or dim. So on and then off. So that's my confirmation that I've got this going and doing what it's supposed to do. All right, great. So let's put the foot switch on it and make sure it still plays ball with the foot switch. So, let's see. Plug in, lay foot switch. Okay, at this point it looks like the... Okay, so there's one, this one's illuminated, we click the selector and we get the other one, okay. And then if we click, click Combiner, we get both. That's what it's supposed to do. And then if I click Combiner again, I'm back to the one I was last on, which is that one. And I can switch back and forth. So I got that working. Um, hooray. Um, not 100% sure the other technician I talked to. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Um, he, he, he suggested that these... Uh, FET transistors, which would be these over here, they can be a little finicky, so maybe that's the case. If we have to come back at it, we will, but maybe it was a bad solder joint or something was something against something else. Who knows? So, you know, or maybe something had a bad ground that when I reattached everything, it just decided that it was good now. I don't know. So we're going to put the amp back together and give it a final test. Okay, so the switching circuit now works. I've got the middle channel on. I can select and switch to the far channel. I can go back or forth. Or we can do combine and put them both together and we can separate them again. So, super. Um, I have this set on just what I consider is a clean, nice setting. I've got to try to keep the volume low for the sake of the camera. So, distorted guitars at low volume always sound kind of weird. crunch set up on that channel. And we can turn the reverb on. We turn the phaser on. I don't know why we would do that. This has that same phaser feature that the uh, classic VTX did where you can stop the phaser in like a given spot so you can get like a kind of a mid hump thing and get that I don't know it, for me it's the money for nothing song sound and then if I press combiner it turns both of these channels on so I get my clean plus my distort and it actually sounds pretty neat <laughs> This 
this is just the dirt. We'll add a little bit more of the clean channel just to clear it, clear it up. There we go. So we have clean and dirt. And we can put them together. So we'll start with the dirt. I think that's really cool because it can give you more clarity. It can give you more clarity through, uh, you know, what could potentially be a very noisy, distorted thing. So, super cool amp. I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm going to post the schematic. Uh, my associate that I was talking to about the problems it was having, we were having a chat about it, and one of the uh, questions or discussions is, you know, he said, did you ever notice that the tubes in this, which there's four 6L6s, they're actually, the audio is going into the cathodes, and, uh, of course, I read the schematic, and sure enough, it is. I, I, that's very interesting. It's very different. Um, so it creates a very unique uh, setup. I'll post the schematic. You guys can read that, but we've got this one all working. Unfortunately, I don't look at these much like a, like an engineer as much as I look at them like a repair technician. Find the broken thing. Um, I do have a replacement logo on order for it, so we can really bring this up to, uh, you know, uh, looking great. But, yeah, I'm happy. Yep. Thanks for watching. I'm going to play and make some noise.